So we are welcoming Elena of Valhalla, who will talk about the Activity Pub. So Activity Pub, PeerTube, uh, Mastodon, uh, the future. <laughs> so she will tell us more. Yeah. Thank you. So I think that uh, a number of people here probably care a bit about free software and that um, some, at least some of uh, you um, care also of the more general problems of freedom in computing, not just the software that runs on one's computer, but also when interacting with other platforms uh, and uh, uh, what, where our data goes uh, when we do something online, etc. And there are lots of problems that are uh, around this area, uh, s only few of which can be fully solved by only running free software on uh, our own computers. Because um, um, nowadays uh, we're spending lots of time in uh, um, <laughs> dealing with other people's computers and uh, giving them the control of what uh, is happening, even if uh, on our side everything is, is for software. There is one specific um, ambit uh, or problem in this area, which is uh, social networks. So humans are social beings. So they, they like uh, to have uh, platforms uh, that allow them uh, to talk to each other, share things uh, and whatever they, they want to share with other people. But uh, most of the social networks uh, nowadays uh, are in the hands of a few companies that have shown uh, many times that they can't be trusted uh, with our data. Their main um, aim is to collect as much data as possible in order to sell it to advertisers. And okay, they give us uh, um, a service in exchange, so it's not a complete uh, one-sided uh, uh, relationship, but uh, uh, they've shown that they are not able to, to give the, this, the, data, the data we are giving them the right uh, care. So uh, one thing that I recommend reading about this is The Empire of Oily Rags by Cory Doctorow, who um, explains uh, how uh, big, big data from uh, social network companies are like uh, uh, a company that is collecting oily rags, uh, squeezing out the oil and selling it. Uh, but of course, uh, this is a uh, an expensive, expensive project, pro, um, project where they don't give, get as much money from uh, each bit of oil they manage to squeeze out. So it only works uh, if uh, they can um, just put all of the, the rags uh, somewhere and if it uh, takes fire, it's somebody else's problem, which is what the social network companies are basically doing with our data. Uh, there is a solution, uh, well, there is one solution which is avoiding social networks and it's not really a solution that a lot of people can actually use. Uh, the, there are some people that who have uh, family pressure to be able to share uh, pictures of their children with their, gran with their grandfathers or anything. And there are also people who need this social interaction to to be happy, so saying, okay, just avoid it is not a good solution. But there is um, another solution, which is uh, taking back uh, social networks and uh, bring, it, bring it, it back to being somebody uh, by the people who, who use, it, use them for the people who use them, at least to some extent. This is something that has been happening for quite a long time. Uh, this is the first post uh, on uh, Identica, and it happened uh, in uh, 2008. So it's uh, 10 years of uh, 
free software social networks. It was based, of course, on free software. It could be installed by multiple people, and all instances can, uh, could talk uh, with each other. This worked uh, quite fine. Uh, of course, it was new software, and that it had problems. Uh, but uh, the biggest problem was that uh, it, was, it was a great play. The, the Fediverse, or the, um, the universe of all platforms that allow to, um, uh, to have a social network presence uh, on your own server that uh, federates, so talks with other people's servers. Uh, and it was a great place to talk about uh, federated social networks. And a tiny bit about free software. Uh, and that was it. Uh, the, the amount of people who, was, who were using this was quite little. It was, uh, it was a fun place to be if you were interested uh, in federated social networks. And I have good time, met a number of people, but uh, if you had any other uh, interest, uh, uh, you were just uh, looking at uh, something that weren't available for you. Uh, so, well, it, it, ex ex it existed, but it didn't solve uh, most people's problems. But uh, at least uh, it grew. Uh, it grew, and uh, new projects uh, were launched. Uh, there was um, Identica, there was uh, Friendica, uh, Diaspora were the early projects. Of course, uh, they didn't talk with uh, each other. So if you were on, uh, the asp on Identica, you could only talk with people on Identica. If you were on uh, Diaspora, you could only talk with people on Diaspora. And if you were on Friendica, you could talk with other people as long as it was explicitly supported in Friendica and as long as uh, it didn't break, which happened <laughs> quite often. Then time passed. And there were uh, a few things that uh, happened. Uh, the first thing was uh, there were a couple of uh, porn apocalypses where um, uh, proprietary social networks uh, decided to ban uh, porn from their platform or other similar contents. And that uh, helped a lot uh, getting new users because um, those new users uh, uh, created uh, their own uh, federated social network instance, and uh, they also started to talk about other topics. So it wasn't just uh, uh, federated social network and porn, but it became, started to become federated social network, uh, cat picture, or <laughs> uh, memes, uh, or anything else, uh, and a bit of porn, but it's easy to filter it out. Uh, as you can see, um, well, the, the platform uh, that uh, was used a lot for this was Mastodon, and Mastodon came with a content warning, uh, uh, the ability to um, prevent uh, showing content uh, if you don't want to see it, which helped uh, with uh, having uh, an influx uh, of people who wanted porn but uh, didn't uh, take over the platform. One other, another thing that Mastodon had uh, was uh, the ability to, buy somebody, to pay somebody to host uh, your own instance. Because uh, one big problem that uh, Identica had was that everybody was uh, going on, identi on the Identica server. So there wasn't a real federated uh, ecosystem. Everybody was just using uh, one server. With Mastodon, a lot of people are using uh, the, the main server, mastodon.social, but there are also a lot of other uh, instances. Uh, some of them are big and created for some specific topic. Some are just uh, a few people who decide, OK, we want to have uh, our own uh, so social network instance, uh, so we are not uh, IT people, we are not sysadmin, we can pay somebody to, to do the, the sysadmin work uh, and they just do the um, uh, social administrator work, so banning people, uh, uh, listening to people's complaints, etc. 
the other good thing that happened was uh, the um, release of the activity pub uh, specification which is at least a standard uh, that uh, allows um, multiple platforms to talk to each other it uh, it, m it has some problems, but it's a, it has a huge advantage, which is it exists. And there are a few big platforms that already talk ActivityPub, uh, mostly Mastodon. Then there were uh, a number of projects, smaller projects, uh, born um, especially last summer. It was called the Summer of uh, ActivityPub. And uh, there were projects like um, uh, pixel fed uh, um, and well a few others which took activity pub and decided okay I want to make uh, uh, something that is useful w well basically I want to make Instagram f uh, but uh, free uh, free as in freedom or I want to make a blog that talks activity pub and other projects like this there is still one thing that is missing, and it is that ActivityPub, uh, uh, as a mm, protocol, allows you to, um, to use a, as a client uh, to server part and the server to server part. Most of the projects are implementing the server to server part. One thing that would be good to, to see is to start uh, to have um, clients talking uh, client to server that could use uh, different servers that are maybe useful for uh, microblogging or pictures or blogging, etc. Uh, instead of having to have um, an account on Mastodon if you want to do microblogging, on PixelFed if you want to do um, uh, fo to publish photos, uh, uh, and etc. If you want to have a blog uh, or something else. Uh, another, so, well, we have a number of projects. Some of them are already talking activity pub, some uh, are older and they are implementing it. Uh, some are still using other uh, protocols. Uh, Diaspora will, is still using uh, the Diaspora pro protocol and uh, as far as I know, they don't uh, intend to migrate. Mm. But at least as, as far as projects are available, uh, it's a good situation. Uh, it's quite active. Uh, people are starting uh, to think about doing things uh, that uh, a, um, a commercial entity wouldn't be doing. And uh, mm, it's starting to grow something more. But there is quite a bit of big problem uh, that is that uh, self-hosting such mm, such projects is not easy uh, some of them are meant for biggish instances so uh, they, they think that you're going to have a uh, hundred or a thousand users at least uh, if you have just four users you can do it but it's not really a good uh, match and then uh, there are all web projects uh, with lots of dependencies and it can be hard to install and maintain them and maintain them in time without breaking so it would be nice uh, having them in debian but as far as i know the of the one that talk um, activity pub uh, none of them are available all of those RFPs are just RFPs, except for the Friendica one, who was an ITP, but uh, was uh, forgotten. Uh, I don't know if they're still working. I, I asked, by, but probably too late uh, to, be, to have an answer today. So I think it would be nice uh, maybe to bring to do some effort on that part, but it's something that is going to be hard because uh, web uh, packaging web, web project is hard. And I have to admit that I looked at them and uh, I decided to do the wrong thing and write my own activity pub server, uh, which probably will never work, but if it, w if it will, it will be easy to host. Uh, 
So I should have worked more on packaging, but uh, sometimes people do what is fun rather than what is useful. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, or if, if you want to, if you consider this important and want to help, Thank you. Uh, now there is a question. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, more than a question is a comment. Uh, in the Debian um, publicity team uh, publishes uh, the small news in via micronews.debian.org, but uh, these systems creates a atom feed that can be um, pushed to different social networks. So for the networks uh, that Elena uh, explained, uh, some people, members of the Debian publicity team care about the Debian profile in a certain uh, social network. So we are in Mastodon, is yeah. in the profile is Debian at fostodon.org. And we are also in uh, Pampayo with Debian at Identica. We are still keeping that account. And uh, some other people ask about uh, having a Debian profile in other networks, for example, Diaspora, or um, uh, it depends on somebody wanting to maintain uh, the account and to keep that the feed is working and replying if there is any mention or everything. We try to focus in the micro news so the content is there at, ta at the correct time. And then we invite anybody that wants to uh, maintain a Debian account in any federated social network to talk with us and to join the, the publicity team. And that's all. Thank you. This was quite important uh, to say. Uh, you maybe wanted to do uh, both tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. So if somebody is interested in talking about Activity Pub, so we can find a place for you and you can discuss all together during the lightning talks or a little bit after. So don't hesitate to go and see Elena if you want to do this. Yeah. You asked who is interested and would like to... Ah. You asked who's interested and would like to help. I am only I don't have time, so that's a third <laughs> item missing. Yeah. But maybe someday. Um, do you happen to know, because I managed to get rid of all the big social networks, the only thing I can't get rid of is Twitter, because there are too many interesting things that I don't know how to um, get from other sources. Is there any thing any pr uh, one of those uh, networks that can just mirror all the stuff from mirror that I can say monitor those Twitter feeds and show them and I don't want you to give any data to Twitter from me? Yeah. Well, uh, I don't think so. Uh, there are uh, a few people on Twitter who also post on Mastodon. Mm -hmm. uh, they're growing a bit more. Uh, of course, uh, in the context of uh, context of free software, technological things uh, at the most. Um, I don't think there is something automatic that uh, takes uh, things from Twitter and downloads it, download it, because uh, that would require uh, um, somebody to maintain it 
while Twitter changes the, um, the conditions, the API. Uh, I think that something has been tried and mostly failed, exactly because uh, you are working with somebody who doesn't want uh, their content uh, to go as outside. So you should expect uh, the APIs to change, uh, your application to be blocked. Uh, it may work for some time. Uh, you can also try to tell people uh, who are uh, you, you are interested in, well, why don't you also post on something else? Uh, mostly in that case, it would be Mastodon. It's the, for uh, microblogging is the biggest one. Uh, there are also tools to post the bot on Twitter and Mastodon at the same time. Uh, there are a number of accounts that use them, uh, and uh, some of them are aren't great accounts because uh, on uh, Mastodon they are mostly read-only, but at least uh, the original posts are available. But uh, yeah, it's it's a hard problem because we are you are dealing with. Uh, somebody who's against, who can be working against you, so Twitter. <laughs> so. Yeah, especially I'm following um, the ongoing stuff with Fridays for Future and Climate Strike, and it makes me very sad that especially those people yeah. uh, use then proprietary networks, proprietary chat infrastructure, everything proprietary. Yeah. You may also tell them that on Mastodon there is quite a big community of people who are uh, into those problems, those issues. Uh, there's a big community of um, self-sufficiently uh, eco-anarchists or things like that. It's, uh, there, is an interest, there are interesting communities on, uh, on Mastodon from a social point of view. Uh, and then you had five requests for packaging um, bugs there for the different yeah. uh, systems. And have you made... Uh, a, a list which of those might be the easiest to package or which are the problems to package so that if somebody has time yeah. knows okay where were the hurdles which is the most promising to start well uh, I think that the Friendica may be uh, good because it's PHP and as far as I know there are, aren't that many uh, dependencies but then you have to maintain an, a PHP program uh, I wouldn't recommend Pampayo because uh, I don't know how much developed it is anymore. Uh, Pleroma is also promising as long as you know um, the language is written in the, it, uh, which, which is uh, um, Erlang, I think. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> So as soon as you have time, you have a volunteer. <laughs> and last yeah. question. Is there any place in the Debian wiki, for example, where I find this list of five RFPs and maybe anything else around ActivityPub and Debian? I don't think so, but I can make one this afternoon. Uh, well, maybe tomorrow <laughs> during the, the both or at most uh, in the next few days. Can I ask you a question? Um, you mentioned, you almost mentioned the, the, this idea. Uh, but so w when I try to convince people using uh, alternative social network, yeah. my un until now I recommended Diaspora because some instances have the, this feature that when you post to Diaspora, you yeah. c it can also post to a Twitter account that you linked and a Facebook account that you linked. Okay. And do you, but Diaspora is not going to have ActivityPub soon. So do you know ActivityPub social networks who have this, this feature for uh, forwarding posts to linked account on other social network? Or do you know external tools who can uh, post to proprietary social network and also ActivityPub based yeah. social networks? I know that they exist, but I don't know which one they are because I've never used them. And they are the ones that post on Twitter and Mastodon at the same time. But I'm only on the receiving part, uh, seeing the posts on Mastodon. So I don't know what th the name of the tool is. But I'm sure it, ex it exists because I'm seeing it used. So we have two more minutes if somebody else has questions. OK. 
Okay. Thank you, Elena. Thank you. And there is another kind of social network that uses ActivityPub. It's called Funkwale, I guess, the right name. Uh, it's an alternative or replacement for GrooveShark. I don't know if it's dead or if it's just proprietary. It's dead, okay. But um, we, we would have liked to have the, the main author of the, the software, but he's not here uh, today. But um, he's using ActivityPub, and it can be blended with uh, the rest of the community. Great. I didn't know about it. So uh, his name is Elliot Berriot, and uh, yeah. Funk Whale is like peer tube, but for music. It's yeah. exactly the same idea, and it's using ActivityPub. And uh, since September, uh, this developer is on his own. He left his job to develop full-time uh, Funk Whale. So go and look at his project, and he's on opencollectives.com. So you can fund his job, his uh, work, if you want. So Great. thank you, Elena. <laughs> thank you.